everybody, we are on to challenge number 17, and this one is called Stick Next to Me. <laughs> so the goal is your horse sticks next to your side and mirrors what you do. The benefits, this challenge increases your connection and harmony with your horse. They learn that the best place to be is with you. The connection will overlap into your riding and everything you do with your horse. So I'm gonna show you with Gus. And I wanted just to go over some common mistakes is having your lead rope too short, correcting with the stick before looking at the hindquarters, and being too tolerant about your horse lagging behind or too far in front. And then the helpful hint, when you're ready to take the lead rope off for this challenge, make sure that everything stays the same. Often when we remove the lead rope, we start to act different because we are afraid of the horse leaving. Pretend that the lead rope is still on and follow the steps exactly the same. All right. So, this is how this is gonna work. I'm gonna ask Gus to go with me. I'm gonna start walking. And if he doesn't go with me, I'm gonna turn to his hindquarters, just kind of look. And if he doesn't catch up to me, I'm gonna take my stick and string, keep my elbow straight, and go way wide and kind of say, hey, hurry up and catch up. All right, so here we go. I'm walking off, he's kind of lagging behind. I'm gonna look over my shoulder and say, hey, catch up. I need him by my shoulder. Hey. to be. So there's a lot of times we take our horses for walks up in the woods and I need my horse behind me, beside me, maybe even in front of me. So your horse knows where to be because that's where the comfort is. The very first challenge I think we did in this was that stay back, it was for connection, and they knew that was the goal because the comfort was when they were behind you. So you should be able to get your horse to be anywhere you need them to be, on the right side and the left side, and that they understand the goal. So have fun with this challenge. <laughs>